I was so happy with my first Christopher Ward, the Sealander C63 white dial on leather and on the wrist one week and I really enjoyed it. And then I asked myself, can they do this again, please? <laughs> Welcome to Caseback Watches. My name is Tim and I've bought something new, guys. Bought something new. Da, 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 two-tone Tudor prints discontinued on the wrist. And I'm super, super over the moon and happy with it. And if you want to see a full review of that watch, let me know in the comments. They're hard to buy right now, but I think I have some insights now and I could share them with you. So let me know in the comments, please. And now to our topic, Christopher Ward contacted me. They've seen the first review. They liked it. I liked their watch and so everything's perfect. And they offered another watch. And then I thought, yeah, of course, of course, let's do it. And then I ordered, or I asked politely for their newest release, which was the Christopher Ward C63 Sealander, but the bronze version with a transparent sapphire dial. And I thought this sounds so exciting and so interesting. Let's order that watch so that I can wear it again one week or so, um, can make a nice review here and everything's fine. But it didn't work out 100%, I have to state. Mm -mm. And I spotted the strength of the watch, definitely, but also a weakness. And Caseback Watches is an independent channel. So when I see something good, I will tell you. And when I see something weak, I will tell you as well. And I'm going to tell you this in the Lightbox review in a minute. But first, allow me this little invitation for new viewers. Every Friday, you find here these longer videos with watches in the studio. And every Monday, then it's time for Watch of the Week, a series of brief reviews of recently introduced timepieces. And if you don't want to miss any form of content, here then please subscribe to the channel hit the bell so that you get your notifications and now let's do it now let's examine the Christopher Ward C63 Sealander bronze COSC or cost and first let's go over the basic measurements and the other specifications so we have a case diameter here of 39 millimeters the length lug to lug is 45.8 height is 11 millimeters lug width is 20 we have a sapphire crystal, a sapphire dial, more of that in a second, bronze case and see-through case bag made um, of sapphire and steel. Very important, so you don't have any sort of contact with the bronze material. Then we have a screw-down crown made of bronze and with that crown and the other ingredients, the watch is waterproof up to 150 meters. And inside we find the well-known Solita SW200 in a very precise version so with very little tolerances here and the price for this watch is 1250 euros including VAT so the dollar price I think is around 1000 and also notable is that you have here a textile strap but there are many options for that watch leather and and various forms of leather and I think a NATO a very good look in NATO and this textile here Okay, let's begin with the dial here. Here we have a transparent dial, not 100% transparent, it's a bit dark. So you can see parts of the movement here. There's the date wheel and some wheels you can say, and of course this is a very cool look. This is very interesting. And it's not a skeleton watch, so absolutely with zero legibility. Here you only have the idea of the movement behind this sapphire crystal. So very interesting. And you have um, very nice indices and hands. You have the typical second hand there with the Christopher Ward logo on top. And the other hands are very dominant. You have the date on position on position six, which I like pretty much. And you have a nice color spectrum, which matches the bronze tone here. Very nice. This loom together with the bronze and this, I mean, it's not black, it's not dark brown. It's something in between, it's cloudy. And I think this is a very interesting combination together with the, with the bronze here. But unfortunately, here the problem begins. Um, see this? No, you cannot see nothing now because of the reflection. This is the most reflective watch I ever had here in the light box. And I, I was wearing this piece here outside and every, every um, yeah, few seconds you notice that your watch is, is vanished in this monstrous uh, illumination here, in this reflection. And so this was really a bit of a downer and then its legibility is to zero. When you use it only, 
like an advertising, like that, then it then it's interesting and very nice to look at. I mean, the watch, the the the, the concept behind it, the material is cool as hell. But when you use it like that, everything's fine. And here, great, great, bit of transparency, but one angle too much and you cannot see anything anymore. And so this is, the camera focus now cannot see the watch anymore. I mean, this is really, really crazy. And this is a bit of a downer for me, to be honest. The rest is just nice. As said, the concept with the crystal is fine, with the sapphire, then note the case form here. Very interesting, very interesting case form, very well done. And the dimensions with 39, it's yeah, it's like a, a bit of a gem on your wrist. You have all those facets here. Then you have the very handy stainless steel case back, so no danger of allergic reactions. You will have a slightly decorated movement here. And so very, very nice, but then you wear it and then you re really realize that it's a watch uh, better for taking images than to use it actually um, every day. And th also the strap I didn't find convincing. I mean the other watch, the other Sealander came on a very high quality leather strap and you could say wow this is really something else. And here we have this textile strap and it's new, I haven't used it, I put the watch on a leather strap and even now you can see some fraying. And so I think in six weeks this strap will look um, really, really, really use, but of course, let's be fair, this is a bit of speculation. This is a bit of speculation. I don't know this for sure. Operating the watch now, screw down crown, everything here works very nice. Close to perfection, really. Can wind it. Also feels very good. Then you have position one for the date. See this? Very nice that you can see the date wheel, right? <laughs> Fun to look at. Absolutely, and with position two you can set then the time and everything good. Let's change the day, uh, the date, excuse me, just to hear that nice click, which we all love so much, I think. And there you go, this is operating this watch. And now let's put it on the wrist. <clears throat> and there you are. I mean, size just sweet, 39 millimeters, height 11, so relatively moderate in size and I have a 17 centimeter wrist and so this looks very nice but you see what happens here what's happening it glares and you have reflection all over the piece this is a bit of a shame this really is a bit of a shame so I mean Christopher Ward very sorry I think you guys will hate me for that but if you want to hear the truth from here this is not a 100% recommendation um, if you want to buy yourself a nice Christopher Ward, then yeah, pick the other one I had here a couple of weeks ago. You find now a link in the upper right corner to that watch, which I think, my personal opinion, is the better choice. Um, yeah, let's carry on. Um, welcome back, welcome back, of course. And um, yeah, I have good news from the shop for you, or good and bad news. The quarter one straps sold out in one weekend. Um, yeah, but it wasn't a marketing story. I really had only a small edition, grabbed them basically by accident. I've ordered more, a big edition for the channel now, and they will be online, I think, end of May. And fun fact is that all those Cordovan straps were grabbed by long-time viewers and long-time customers, so returning customers, and this is a great pleasure for me to see. Guys, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate that. By the way, some customers write me something like, Dear Tim and team, and this is very sweet, guys, but there is only me. Every, every parcel is packed by me, and so it's a very small operation here. And you know what? I really like it that way right now. But the idea of the shop is not to ask you to support the channel. It's the idea to deliver you bang for buck so that you really have something nice and valuable and well done for your money. And so I created a little discount code for new customers, 10% off. You find it here in the video description and you can use it for everything you want. It's not, it's not limited. Only one order, of course, but you can every, you can buy every item you see in the shop, every, every item you like. And you will find out that the shipping rates are very low for the entire globe. This is very important for me personally because I like this idea of an international channel. And so you can order from South Korea, United States, Canada. I ship to Israel to Europe, of course, and if you buy your strap there, for example, 
the other side of the world the shipping rates are six euros so it's absolutely affordable i think for everybody and so please check out that discount code there and i think i will put the tutor one day on leather as well but right now i really enjoy the the, the bling here and yeah I, I don't know what to say anymore i think i have to stop this this video now see you next week with this thing on my wrist if you want to have your sneak previews then please join me on instagram it's casepack underscore tim and now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time mm -hmm.